not only was Megalodon the biggest prehistoric shark that ever lived, it was the largest marine predator in the history of the planet. This giant predator would have had a huge impact on the structure of marine communities. Most current scientifically accepted estimates for the Megalodon's maximum size fall into the 50 to 60 foot range, with a weight of 50 to 70 tons. The Megalodon is believed to have had the most powerful bite of any animal. Computer models estimate the Megalodon's bite force between 24,000 to 40,000 pounds. This is 6 to 10 times that of the great white shark and modern crocodiles. This is also 2 to 3 times that of the estimated bite force of Tyrannosaurus rex and the large Mosasaurus. This enormous bite force could literally bite a small whale in half. Researchers have also estimated that the Megalodon could bite a car in half. Fossil evidence shows the Megalodon primarily fed on large marine mammals, including whales, dolphins, sea lions, dugons, as well as sea turtles and large fish. Younger Megalodon sharks probably concentrated on smaller prey, while a 60-foot adult Megalodon would have been able to prey upon larger whales. Fossil bones of these large marine mammals frequently bear bite marks and feeding damage that match Megalodon. Megalodon teeth have also been found in close association with skeletons of its prey. Fossil locations which produce Megalodon teeth almost always produce a high concentration of marine mammal fossils. Based on comparisons of its body size and likely behaviour, an adult Megalodon shark may have needed up to a tonne of food per day. Not only do fossil bones of whales often bear the scars of Megalodon feeding, but Megalodon teeth very frequently show feeding damage. It's not uncommon for its teeth to be found with sheared off tips and nicks to the blade that would have been caused when they hit bone. One of the things that Megalodon lacked was a refined high level strategy for attacking its prey, but its attacks were effective and that's what mattered. In some of the cetaceans that have been studied, compression damage is seen. That indicates a massive impact from below, and leads to the scenario that Megalodon would approach whales and other prey from below, so that it would not be seen. Then it would shoot up towards its prey at a very high speed and slam into it. With the Megalodon's bite force and amount of pressure applied, no prey could escape the jaws of this giant. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.